Good morning. We will pay attention to discount allowed to debtors today. Allow 10% discount on a debt of 180. The total debt will be 100% that is equal to the 180%. So we can calculate 10% and that will give us 18 rand. Received 180 rand after discount was received. That means that we only receive 90% of the money and that 90% equals the 180 rand. So we will say 10 divided by 90 to get the discount. It is very important to determine whether the total debt or the amount paid is provided. Mama Lori traders receive 50 rand from Michael, allow 10 rand discount. The total amount received was 50. In addition to that, the business allows 10 Rand discount, so we will reduce his account with 60 Rand. Mama Lordi traders receive 50 Rand from Michael and allow 10% discount. The amount received is 100% and that equals 50 Rand. The discount is 10% on that 50 rand, so the discount is 5 rand. We will decrease his account with the amount received 50 and the discount, so his account will be credited with 155 rand. Mama Lordi traders received 600 rand from Michael after 20% discount was allowed. The total debt is 100%, the discount allowed is 20% and we received 80%. The amount received is given, so next to the 80% we will show that that amount that was received was 600 Rand that equals 80% of the total debt. If we want to calculate the discount, the percentage that we won, 20 divided by the percentage that we know, 80, times the 600, and that will give me 150 Rand. The total debt is 750. We will reduce the account with the total 750, increase the bank with 600, and increase discount allowed with 150. The word that's written in the account debtors control indicates that this double entry is in the debtor's control account. The word discount allowed indicates that this double entry is in the discount allowed account. The bank is debited to increase the asset with 600 Rand because that is the money that was paid in the bank. Debtor's control is credited to decrease the asset because the debtors owe less. So one asset was changed into another asset. When we receive money, we record it in the cash receipts journal and we will issue a receipt as proof of payment. Discount allowed is debited because expenses increase on the debit side. Expenses decreases profit, so equity will decrease. Debtors control is credited to decrease the amount that the debtors owe. Becky settled his debt of 600 after 10% discount was allowed. The total debt is 100%. The total debt is provided so the 100% equals the 600 rand. Discount is 10%. And the business will only receive 90% of the debt. Discount will be the one that we want 10 divided by the percentage known 100 times 60 and will give us 60 rand. The debtor's control has a credit balance of 600. We will credit the debtor's control with the money received and the discount allowed to reduce the account with a total 600. The bank is debited to increase the money in the bank. Discount allowed is debited to increase the expense. 
bank is debited to increase assets with money received. Debtors control is credited to decrease the asset because the debtors owe less money. We change one asset into another asset. We will issue a receipt as proof of payment and we will record this entry in the cash receipts journal. Discount allowed is debited to increase expenses. Expenses decrease profits, so the equity will decrease. Debtors control is credited to decrease the amount that debtors owe. That will decrease assets. When discount is allowed, you must determine whether the amount received or the outstanding debt is provided to ensure that you use the right calculation. The debtor's control reduces on the credit side with the amount received and with the discount. Discount allow increases expenses on the debit side so that the profit will decrease with the discount that was allowed to the debtor. Bank increases on the debit side with the amount received because assets increase on the debit side.